What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install mods for the Xbox Game Pass version of Pal World. It's super simple. I'll be showing you the two main kinds of mods, but do keep in mind that whenever you're downloading a mod, you'll need to read the description tab just to find out if there's any extra steps involved, as the game is still very close to release and the modding community is still very new. You'll need to make sure to read the instructions very carefully just to make sure nothing goes wrong when you're installing your mods, otherwise they may not work properly. Anyways, in order to install mods for the Xbox Game Pass version, you'll need to fire up the Xbox app, select Power World, and click the three dots over here. Then choose Manage, Files, and click Browse over here. This will open up a file browser in the place where your games are installed. Open up the Power World folder, followed by Content, and in here we have all of the main files you'll find on Steam and elsewhere. The installation steps are mostly the same for Steam and the Xbox Game Pass, though sometimes may be different for specific mods in specific areas. Do keep in mind that when you get dropped into the Xbox Games folder here, it may not actually be named Power World, it may be named something else like a random string of characters. You'll need to open up each of them until you find content, followed by the PAL folder, etc. It's sometimes a bit finicky, but for the most part, it should be called PAL World. Okay, now that we're in here, let's start by installing a pack mod. This is usually a kind of mod to replace player models and things like that, and I'll be downloading this one here. We'll simply scroll down and see if there's any extra steps, and there's not really. We just need to move the pack files into a folder. So we'll download this, choose slow download, and open up the zip when it's done downloading. In order to install pack mods, we'll head into the PAL folder, followed by content, packs, and there we go. We'll just drop them in here, and they should work pretty much straight away. So opening up our pack mod zip, you'll find the pack inside, drag it out into this folder, and just like that, we've now successfully installed a pack mod for PAL World. That's it. Let's talk about the next major kind of mod for PAL World. These mods are known as scripting mods or scripts. This one, for example, the toggle HUD mod allows us to toggle our HUD on and off in game simply by using a hotkey. This is different to pack mods in that we need an extra step. As you can see scrolling down, we need something called UE4SS. This is very simple. You'll also find a link to UE4SS down below. Over here on GitHub, simply scroll down and on the far right next to releases, click the latest version here. Then scroll down further until you see the assets section, expand it if it's not ready, and it'll be downloading the X input version over here. Open up the zip when it's done downloading, and inside of it you'll find these files. We need to place these in a specific folder. In the PAL world content section over here, we'll need to navigate into PAL, followed by binaries, win GDK, and in here we'll be dropping those files. So we'll drag all of them out and into here. Alternatively, you can select just mods, X input, and the settings file as such. I'm holding control to select these separately. I'll drop them out, and just like that, we've now installed UE4SS. Now, because of weird quirks with how this works, with Game Pass in particular, we'll need to rename X input 1 underscore 3 to 1 underscore 4. Now, it should work properly when we fire it up. In the mods folder here, you'll find some scripts. This is where we'll be installing our script mods. So, when we download this one here, so manual, followed by slow download, we'll open it up and you'll usually find a folder with the name of the mod and inside of it, enabled, followed by scripts folder, etc. We'll need to extract this folder into the mods folder here. So I'll drag it out of my zip, it's here, and now we've successfully installed a script mod for PAL world. That's it. Just keep in mind that some mods have specific requirements. For example, this script mod requires us to change something in the configuration file for UE4SS. We need to set a B use U object array cache to false. So we'll open UE4SS settings with any text editor, such as Sublime Text. We'll search for it, and when we find it, we'll change it to false. We'll save, close. We've now installed the two main major kinds of mods for PAL World. Now we can head back to the Game Pass app, close out of our pop-up, and play the game to see our mods in action. We'll click through to the main menu, and here we'll start a new game, create a new world, just to see our new player model. And there we go, a new play model. I'll start the game, yes, skip the intro scene, and there you go, we're now in game. Let's try the script mod, I'll hit F9, and just like that, our HUD is successfully hidden. Sweet. So, not only does the pack mod work, but the script 
script mod as well. On the Xbox Game Pass version, it's pretty simple as long as you know what you're doing. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. If you'd like to do this for the Steam version, you'll find a link for that in the description down below showing you how to install mods there instead. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!